Say it with me here, Ixodes scapularis. Ixodes scapularis is the scientific name here for the black-legged or the deer tick, one of the arachnids we have to deal with across the region here. And with Science for Everyone, I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller. Let's talk a little bit about the deer tick here, some of the issues of having this disease vector around the Washington region and some of the implications as well as this deer tick can carry Lyme disease. Now let's talk about the life cycle of a tick. And to give you an idea, here. These are the size of adults, and these are sesame seeds on a bun, a hamburger bun. So about the size of a sesame seed, they live for two years. That first year, after about 2,000 eggs could be laid by an adult female, well, that first year is spent as a larva and then maturing here into the teenage stage, if you will, otherwise known as the nymph. And it's the nymph stage that's actually the most dangerous and the easiest to transmit the disease to humans here because they're so tiny, about the size of a poppy seed. But then after that first year, then they continue to mature into an adult. That's when they will reproduce. And then ultimately here, lay more eggs and continue the process. So where we find Lyme disease is where we find deer. Well, just follow the trail here. And what I did is I went and looked at the report from ticks using an app, a citizen science app called iNaturalist. And these are the locations by county in the DMV where deer ticks have been reported and verified. The darker the colors, well, there's more reports here of deer ticks and more incidents of Lyme disease, coincidentally, here. And that includes Westmoreland County in the northern neck of Virginia. And then across here, and really, there's no big surprise. These are locations with heavier amounts of forest and open space and ultimately allows for more habitat for deer, and then that is where we're seeing more and more incidents here of deer ticks and then ultimately Lyme disease. Now let's talk a little bit about Lyme disease here. Adult ticks, they're most active in the spring and the fall, and it's the nymphs that are active during the summertime that are the most dangerous just because they're the smallest and hard to detect. They carry a bacteria, that's what causes Lyme disease here, and the highest activity is coincidentally in the morning, usually from 6 a.m. to noon. And the drier weather here, the drier it is, the less active deer ticks become. Now, one of the things you have to watch out for here in detection of the disease, if you get bit and Lyme disease is transmitted, you look for that area here, that red rash that develops here. And if your skin tones are darker, you have to be more vigilant. You have to watch for symptoms that may show up here indicating that Lyme disease came from a tick bite. So if you're out and about and in the woods here or even mowing your lawn throughout the season, be careful, be mindful, and watch out and be vigilant for any ticks that could be in and around your area. With Science for Everyone, I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller.